Capricorns. Hi guys. Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is another love reading for you. I hope this video finds you well and you're safe, you're healthy, you're happy. And um, I hope we got something good for you in these messages. Um, this will not resonate with every single Capricorn. Just take it how it resonates, okay? Don't force it to fit. All right. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please join me. Uh, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff so that you know you can get the videos when I post them. Um, all right, Capricorn. Let's cut the deck. See what messages are here for you. Okay, dokie. What do we have? Capricorn. The Ace of Swords. Uh-huh. The Tower. Ooh. The Ace of Wands. And the Four of Cups. Okay. What is your advice, loves? The Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. So perhaps there's some truthful communication that happened. Um, the truth came out. Um, I mean, this card is also a spy card, but we'll see. We don't know. We'll see what happens. But I feel like I'm for some reason I'm getting truthful out of this based on the cards I see. But, you know, it could be either way. So the Prince of Swords is your advice. We'll clarify this at the end. Wow. So here's the start of something. I see I have two aces on the board. I have the tower. Something is starting. Something is, uh, hey, something is surfacing, okay? Clarity, mental clarity. You have some sort of breakthrough happening. And I feel like you are, that's what you want. And maybe, I feel like your foundation, something is changing, something is ending, it's crumbling, it's getting out of the way so that a new beginning can happen here with the Ace of Wands. I mean, I hate that you're here at the Four of Cups though. The Four of Cups is like um, dissatisfaction or feeling down, like, you know, Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's start clarifying. Let's see what's up with these. So the Ace of Swords, I'm very curious to see. That's all about clarity, mental clarity, having a breakthrough. Um, what else? Being dis It's like a decisive energy, cutting out the crap, you know, no more confusion. Why does Capricorn have the Ace of Swords? Two cards. Ooh, three of cups, page of pentacles. Okay, so perhaps you have an understanding about a third party. You, I feel like you learned something. Like you gathered some new information here with the page. I don't know if you talked to somebody about it, but it's definitely new information. It's new, like, it's like a new idea. New, something new has presented itself. And it could be about a third party. So if your your person is dealing with someone else, I feel like you know this. Why why is a tower here? Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is a Knight of Wands here? These cards are ready. So did you find out someone was being less than <laughs> monogamous? Um, like I get. Maybe this person had some player energy just out there. I feel like you've learned this. Again, I, you you learned something. This is new information. Why is the Ace of Wands here? And maybe, I don't think you expected this with the tower. I just feel like it was a surprise. Why the Ace of Wands? Okay. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles. Man, oh man. That Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it could be because maybe there was a lack of progress in your relationship. Like it wasn't even like there was no movement here. Why the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Like a new beginning was not happening. There's the lovers. It was not. The, your 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 relationship was not move, moving. It was very stagnant. Um, some of you was just very slow. Whether it was moving or not. Like it was, if it was moving, it was slow movement why the four of cups and you're not happy about that you could be bored with this like dang you're not you know <sighs> why the four of cups y'all i know some of you guys are so tired of these types of readings 
stuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you're over. I think you're just wanting. You're not happy. You're not satisfied. Like, you are pretty upset with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are tired of the crap. You could want, um, you know, you're not happy with the balance or what is being given to you, perhaps. <clears throat> What's the energy of this Ace of Swords? <clears throat> ah, Ace of Swords. Listen, I feel like you for sure know the truth. If you don't think you know the truth, I think you know the truth. I think you know the truth. Like, if you're questioning, like, is that for real? Yes, you know the truth. Why the tower? What's the energy? Excuse me. What is the energy of that tower spirit? What's the energy here? What is the energy of the tower? Okay. Let me ask again. What is the energy of the tower? Wow. Okay. The card is... Ooh. Okay. So the two of wands... In the reverse, it's, I feel like you, you didn't, like you doubted this. Maybe you even doubted yourself here. You know what I mean? I feel like, let, let me pull apart on that. Why the two of wands reverse? I get the sense of doubt because you didn't know. You know what I mean? Or like you were playing it safe because you didn't know. Why the two of wands reverse? The Empress. Capricorn. Mm, why the Empress? I think this is... I think this is... Um, why the Empress? The so Eight of Wands. I think this is all about growth and movement. Like, I feel like you, you, maybe you played a part too in this not moving or growing because you didn't have clarity and you didn't know. It was not so much it was this other person. It could be like they weren't committing or they weren't giving, right? But you could have been like halting it too. Because you didn't have clarity and maybe you had a conversation or you brought it up or you did something. Why the Eight of Wands? Could have brought this up, talked about it. Why the Eight of Wands? Okay. Wow, let me ask again. Sorry, that was way too many cards. Why the Eight of Wands? Okay. The star. So there was something you were wishing for, hoping for, praying for. But this this energy, this inconsistency, I feel like you learned this. What's the energy of the Ace of Wands? What's the energy of the Ace of Wands? I feel like you want to start this new beginning, but you just like, I can't because I don't have the clarity. And then I think you did learn something. Tell us, what's the energy of this Ace of Wands spirit? Oh my God, you guys. Okay, the Two of Cups. That's your connection. But I feel like it was just, I think it was just not moving. I, I feel like you both were doing it, but for different reasons. Like this person was being more of a player. You were being more like, I'm not going to just be putting myself out there like that. Like I, you didn't have the clarity. So it's like you weren't progressing. You weren't moving forward. What's the energy of the four of cups? The queen of wands. Your person could be a fire sign. Why the queen of wands? Yeah. Oh God, you guys. Capricorn. So they were keeping something from you, doing something behind your back, something they didn't want you to know. And I feel like you know. I don't know how you found out, but it could just be intuitively. I feel like you just, you you know what it is. And you're not happy with it. You don't like it. I think you don't even like what 
the the balance here in this relationship so let's get your advice and see what you should do oh my 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 these people i promise <sighs> is anybody just like honest anymore <laughs> I just feel like I'm always having these readings where people are just being done wrong. It's like, can we get somebody who's not doing people wrong? Like, it's really just heartbreaking, okay? So we have the Prince of Swords as your advice, which is the Knight of Swords. And it says, take charge, go in with all your might. The situation requires a show of force. Okay, be aggressive. So, whether that's to have a conversation, to make some, you know, decisions, like, don't hold back. That, I can guarantee you that Prince of Swords is not holding back. He's going to charge forward into what he wants. Why the Prince of Swords? Okay. Because guess what? You're independent. You're strong. we got the King of Cups. I just feel like you are this super awesome, wonderful person, straight up, with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Why the King of Cups? Go for what you want. Your independence, for love, okay, there's you. So, yeah, you want love, you want stability. I feel like this is telling you to go for what you want. You want um, compassion and romance. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Capricorn energy. Why the Queen of Pentacles? I mean, this could be you going it alone, being solo, being single. Why the Queen of Pentacles? But I feel like you have it going on. All right. Work on your... Work on... The Four of Swords is just taking a break. Healing, resting. You know what I mean? Just rest, chill out for a second. Maybe not giving your energy to the situation. Why the Four of Swords? Yeah. Because the, the this connection is not connected, okay? There's inequality here. You're not. It's not balanced with the two cups reverse. Like some of you could have even broken up, and you're needing to heal. Some of you could just still be kind of in touch and dealing with each other, but it's not equal. It's not connected. Like there's, you guys are disengaged. You're disconnected. You're not equal. You're not going to equal playing field here. And I think it's time for you to just take a chill pill and, you know, pursue what you want. Go after your own desire. I want to get the energy. What's the energy of this King of Cups? Let me ask again. What is the energy of this King of Cups? Wow. Okay. Ace of Cups. New love. If there's someone else, new love. I mean, go after it. You know what I mean? Because this person that you want, this other person, I feel like they... <sighs> I just get play player energy. Um, like not progressing the relationship. Those are like telltale signs. If the person you're involved with is not progressing your relationship, they're not wanting to be with you, saying, hey, you know, let's take it to the next level. I don't know, especially after a while. Most people know within like six, I'll say six months to be super fair. Because I think it's even before that. I'm going to say three months. They kind of know, hey, I really want to pursue this. This is like that person I want to give more of my time to on a more monogamous level. Um, but after like six months, if they're kind of still not sure about you, ooh, like, okay, is there something I'm doing? Like what, you know, you have those conversations. Don't just cut it off, but get some clarity. All right, like you should know where you stand with this person. They should be able to tell you how they feel. If they don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say, but I don't want to tell you to cut it off. But I think that you should have some understanding as to where this person stands when it comes to you. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Good luck with this situation. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.